All the weapons have been withdrawn from the Ansars who have already been suspended. Because, if a disobedient person has a weapon, it is a risk for the country and the nation. The committee has been constituted. Those who did not return to work were treated as absconders. Action will be taken as per law against those who fueled common Ansar. The Director General of Ansar Forces said that the protesting Ansar members had several groups on social media. Where every Ansar member is asked to come dressed in army uniform and bring an extra outfit. Through this, it can be understood that there were outsiders in the movement in Ansar clothes. This information has come to us. Even I myself have seen such instructions in various groups. He said that after the Enza members took their positions in the Secretariat, the concerned people including the Home Affairs Advisor discussed. Even the coordinators of the protesting Enza were in that discussion. At the end of the discussion, we reached a consensus to accept their demands. A committee was also formed. They came out and announced the suspension of the movement. But because there were outsiders, they were not withdrawing from the movement. Through this, it is understood that their purpose is something else. Even the coordinators admitted that their announcements were not being obeyed. Even the members of ANZA who lost their jobs due to misdeeds in these movements were not there. The movement was initially with the ANZA, but later it passed into the hands of others. Stating that ANZA's demands were reasonable, the Director General of ANZA Forces said, we have also formed a committee to implement their demands in a quick time. But they wanted to go beyond everything and create an unstable situation. Several cases have been filed in this incident. Many people have been arrested by the police. When asked what action will be taken against the Anza members who leave the security of important installations, DG of Anza and Village Defense Force Major General Abdul Motaleb Sajad Mahmood said that the Anza members perform the security duties of KPI installations, including airports in the country. However, they have come to the movement leaving those establishments in an unprotected state. Besides, as a member of the law enforcement force, there is no opportunity to leave the workplace without permission. As a result, all the actions they have taken as members of the law enforcement forces will be dealt with according to the law of ANZA forces. In response to another question, he said that the information about the appointment of 29,000 ANZA members in Gopalganj district is not correct. Each district is assigned a different number. So there are not many recruitment opportunities. So the information disseminated is not correct. The number of Anzars recruited from Gopalganj district is 1300. Incidentally, the police have registered three cases in Shahbar, Paltan and Ramna police stations of the capital in connection with the encirclement of the secretariat and the clash with the students. 375 Anzar members were arrested in the case. They are currently in jail.